できることを知ってしまったらそこから逃れることはできないよ私は命を天秤にかけた私は悔いていない君らは何も感じていない辛いが仕方ない仕事だから Project Ito Genocidal Organ. There is actually a Project Ito in the official formal title if you like look it up anywhere. But it doesn't say that anywhere on the box. It was just like Genocidal Organ. So when I just looked at the cover of this movie, I was thinking this would be some kind of Ghost in the Shell ripoff. And that was what I was in the mood for. Some 90 minute little violent anime sci-fi style thing. And that's actually not what it is. It's actually a pretty intellectual movie. Almost a little bit too much. So really this is kind of post alternate kind of sci-fi future 9-11. This is a movie about terrorism essentially. It's a movie that takes place in America. And because it's a Funimation English dub, you'll recognize two or three voices from Dragon Ball Z slash One Piece. Christopher Sabat is in there. Um, Eon Sinclair, the guy who plays Whis and Brooke, he's in there. But the premise of the movie is really more like Black Hawk Down than anything else, where they have like this ace, they have this target they're trying to get. It follows these Special Forces guys. Now what's special about these Special Forces dudes is they have emotional masking. It's like something's done to the frontal lobe of the brain where they don't feel emotions. Now they clearly feel emotions because they get angry and sad and stuff, but they don't feel pain and they don't feel trauma from war is essentially, I think, the, the two big ones. I mean, until they do because something went wrong with the masking, but that's that's the point of these, these guys. Clearly in the future because they have metals that like melt away and like they're drop pods are like super high tech but they still have helicopters they don't have like space travel or anything and they have little like you know contact lenses that are huds with cameras and stuff so it is kind of video gamey at a couple times there were some first person sequences i would divide this movie into thirds i'd say the first and final third are like very very military heavy there's like you know terrorism government it's essentially you know the united states bringing down dictators and stuff that kind of thing essentially the villain is john paul he's this guy who keeps causing all these genocides and he's doing it through language it's really it's kind of it made me think Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, honestly. Except instead of like a biological toxin that spread through speaking the language, it was a like a triggering in the brain pattern. It was a psychological thing where if you spoke a certain way, you could cause another person to commit genocide. I actually thought that was a neat little concept. Then they, they, they throw in, the, you know, your standard AI stuff or like, what does it mean to be human? And if we take away our emotions, are we any different from, you know, the enemy? Stuff like that. And it deals with free will and language. And there's some big brother government conspiracies where it's like, if you sacrifice freedom for safety there's trade-offs you know all that kind of thing it's something I haven't seen before but I feel like it was handled in a serious enough way where I'm like okay I'm, I'm on board with their, their little discussion of that I'm fresh off a of Blade Runner 2049 too so I'm still in the mood for that kind of thing and when the action scenes are happening they are awesome they are so good the sound design in particular is what stood out to me you hear the shells bouncing on wooden floor and the different calibers from different guns you know the gun sounds are very distinct you know one guy will have like an AK and then the su super soldier just have like these super high rate of fire compact little SMG things and sometimes they're suppressed and sometimes they're not it's it's cool full marks the sound design especially the final act too it gets like really violent especially with how these guys like don't feel pain they don't even notice that like their legs are missing it was like the intestines ever was awesome they also have cloaking too so maybe it's not really near future maybe it's just future the main character does develop a relationship with this girl in the movie and she matters to the plot she's not just some dumb love of interest but there is this middle section of the movie where it's just the two of them talking and I'm like all right either boner or don't boner but move on for goodness sakes because it dragged so damn much she's cute and all and I like her just fine but the movie has got like this way too long dead period in the middle of it where I'm like something happened let's go and that long ass lull in the middle of the movie destroyed any chance of me ever rewatching this but I did really like the ending you know I had good music that cinematic style and I like the somber tone of the end apparently it's based off a book I literally just pulled it out of the box at work and like this is the new movie we have that comes out on Tuesday and I just watched it so for a movie I knew nothing of going into I did enjoy it quite a bit and I'll give Project Ito a genocidal organ a 7 out of 10.